Welcome to the video guys. Today what I want to go over is how I like to color hair to fit my haircuts. So this is going to be a shag haircut. It's going to have a lot of layering. I want to add dimension and depth. I'm going to do that using a deep tone on the bottom and I'm going to brighten up the top. So the deep tone is going to be 6NG. Um, this is Joico Lumashine Dimensional Deposit Hair Color. It's with a five volume. The thing I love about this hair color, it's brand new. It's a demi-permanent cream hair color. It's gentle it's ammonia free um, it's deposit only so you're not getting any underlying lift so I love it for toning I also love it for gray coverage I love it for a lot of different things so I start off putting this color underneath that circle from mid shaft or from the roots the root area to the mid shaft and I just paint that through and then I'm gonna do a different tone on the ends we're gonna have a little bit of fun with a little bit of uh, Joyco intensity yellow through the ends but what I like to do is create that depth so if you think about in a haircut if it's gonna be a layered haircut how are you gonna accent um, those layers and how are you gonna show off the layers kinda of through the top so if I have a deeper color on the underneath and then I have shattered layers on the very top circle that crown area and they're falling over top of it you're gonna see the movement in those layers if it was all one color you wouldn't see the movement so I want to make sure when I go in there I'm creating that depth underneath also when you think about natural hair color it's always darker underneath because the Sun doesn't hit it to naturally lighten it now we're going a little unnatural with this we're going with yellow on the ends but it's still if you think about this technique you don't have to go yellow you could go more natural but what I would do is go 6 NG maybe on that base and then use whatever color I'm gonna use on the top use it on the uh, mid shaft to ends as well so that I get that kind of um, natural result but if you want to have a little fun with it, go ahead, throw in the yellow, and it looks really cool. So you can see I'm really saturating it. I love the consistency of this color. It, it goes on nice and smooth. I get plenty of saturation in there. I got Carly's hands helping me out. Um, it's always great working with an assistant to help hold your sections. But then also notice one thing that helps me work quicker when I'm putting on a touch up is how I'm holding that comb. So I have my tail comb in my hand and then I have my color brush in the other. So I'll use the tail comb to section real quick and then I use my brush to go through. It also keeps me from um, being as messy because I don't get the color on the all over the end of the brush and I'm working my hand all over it. So I'm just finishing up putting on that base color. As soon as I do that, I'm gonna mix up the Joico yellow. So this is my last section here. And now I've got my Joico intensity semi-permanent yellow. It's super bright. It's got a nice uh, intense brightness to it, but it's also not like too much. It's not neon yellow. Um, so it still is a pretty client friendly color, but it has that real cool pop. Uh, to it really brings out a lot in the haircut so I'm working that in mid shaft two ends just painting it through making sure I get it fully saturated and I kind of smash the two colors together I've never noticed um, that to be a big deal and I like the way that it melts when you do that because you don't miss any strands So just finishing up painting through the color. You'll also notice that it's not like perfect. So um, one thing that I like with hair color is to keep it a little more organic. It's very similar, like it's not, but as you're painting it through, it's really just getting that yellow through on the ends um, and getting that 6NG fully saturated on the base is the most important part. So now 9NG, same five volume. Now I'm gonna put that on the very top of the hair. And I'm gonna paint that all the way through. So some people might go like, want to do the yellow on the ends. You can do whatever you want. Um, this is uh, kind of an open uh, technique, but I like the way that the 9NG it keeps it a little more natural looking as it falls over. Um, also, I think that those layers stand out more when they're a different color um, and they're kind of melting into the rest of it towards the mid shaft. So I go through, paint the 9NG all the way through, scalp to ends. Um, and finish it off the other thing which might be a question in your mind obviously these uh, mannequins start out at a lighter tone or a lighter level um, so this is a great technique if somebody already has roots 
it works really well. I already, I had to paint in the roots to do this color. So you could just do this 6NG, maybe they have a little bit of gray, you could do your gray coverage and then um, paint all the other tones through it and maybe um, do some highlighting on top or some balayage on top instead of painting on just the 9NG. So there's a lot of different options. Know that this is salon friendly, but you might have to tweak it to fit your style. So there is our end result. It processed for 30 minutes and now you can see the yellow popping through, the 9NG popping on the top, and then also that depth that comes underneath. Hope you guys like this technique. Thanks for watching.